Hi, I'm Diane Price, President and CEO of Early Connections Learning Center. First of all, let me say Happy New Year to all of you. We learned a lot last year. Um, 2020 was a tough year for all of us. Um, it was a particularly difficult time for our economy and our workforce in our country, in our state, and in our community. And one of the things we learned during those the years, the months last year when we, we struggled as a country was that there was um, a tremendous need for high quality early care and education to support the workforce of the United States, of Colorado and of Colorado Springs. What we found is that because of the fragility of the early care and education business model, that many, many child care centers across the country went out of business. In our own state, we lost more than 20% of our capacity for early care and education. The other thing we know is that if we don't have child care, families, parents, moms, dads, grandmas, grandpas can't work. And so child care has become a, a cornerstone of the economic recovery for the United States of America, for Colorado, and for Colorado Springs. We've understood this for a long time as an organization. Um, we're solid. We're not part of the 20% that went out of business. We've had a, we had a good, very good year last year with support from our community and from our state in terms of keeping our doors open and ensuring that we'll be here for the children and families that we serve. Um, but that wasn't the case for everyone. And so as a community, it's time for us to step up and think about how do we bring our economy back in Colorado Springs? How do we make sure that we meet the needs of the businesses that survive in Colorado Springs and need this a workforce that is solid and sound, um, well-educated and ready to be successful and bring this community back? Very importantly, beyond just our, our regular workforce in Colorado Springs, we have our military workforce. And we know that without childcare, our soldiers and their families are unable to work and do their jobs. And that's part of our, our country's need. So we have very important issues that we need to address in Colorado Springs. And we wanna be part of bringing that information to you about what you can do to support high quality early care and education and the recovery of the economy. What we know is that businesses can do many, many things to support early care and education. We know that they do many things and can do many more things to support their employees. We also know the workforce is changing. That standard go to work at seven in the morning, leave at four or five in the afternoon may not be the future of for all workers in, in, in this new world we're in, this new workforce we're in. And so as early care and education professionals, we're have to we're going to have to change our model and what we do but we can only do this together by communicating with with the employees in our community the business owners in our community um, people like you who care about what's happening in colorado springs to make sure that the early care and education centers the family child care homes in this community are open are high quality and are helping children have great learning experience to be ready to, for school and have parents be able to go to work each day and trust that their children are well cared for and getting a high quality early care and education experience. So over the next few months, you'll learn more from us about what that means in Colorado Springs. We hope you'll join us in being a champion for early care and education and business in the community of Colorado Springs. Thank you.